Hey guys, welcome to the next part of Android tutorial. So here's the app I launched. Uh, I used this thing called Visor to show what's going on on my my device. So in this case, my my computer is still running as fast as possible, and at the same time, I'm seeing what's going on on my screen on my phone. So if I type on my phone, you'll see it in a second. See, so it makes it kind of convenient in this case. So there's might be an ad popping up here and there once in a blue moon, but it should be fine, okay? So going back to our project, we just kind of talk about it a bit more. So we press the little play button at the top to start our application, just like a VCR. Notice, just like a VCR, if you wanted to stop it, there's the big red square button, right? And this will stop. So before we get into too much details, I just want to go back over a few key places that we're always going to look at, okay? So I'm just going to bring this thing down. <clears throat> All right. So by the way, if you don't like it, how it's showing, I really like this because this is how it saves on your Android device. You can always click here and show it in a different view. If you're used to, um, if you're used to the way Java shows things, this is probably it for you. Um, there's other stuff, but I would really recommend that you guys stick to Android because this is how it's saved onto your Android device. You might eventually might want to go back on it or something. Anyway, so getting back here, uh, there's a few things you want to kind of understand and know where they are, right? So the first is going to be your manifest file. If we're going to open that, this basically says, hey, what's going on in your application? Uh, what do I need? Where should I start and so forth so on okay we'll eventually come back to this but remember this Android manifest kinda tells you hey how your project works right So just to show you the the things showing here uh, by the way if you still didn't understand this is XML way of formatting you don't really need to understand it too much we might just do a session on it but currently look here it says hey this is my application okay everything within that that's my application Inside my application, you kind of see some stuff that makes sense, like icon, hey, make it into that. What's the name of my app? Blah, 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 the theme I'm using. And here, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. So we currently, every time we create an activity, it's going to create one of these things inside my activity part. So if you ever build an activity manually, you'll need to go do this thing by yourself. And if you notice inside the intents, it's going to say, hey, this is the current or the first one that should launch when my application starts. Okay, we'll come back to intents as well. Activity, you should know it by now. It's your Windows. We'll, we'll get back to it again later on. Okay, so that's the first part, Android manifest. Go to the next part, opening your Java, opening the location that you, your directory, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Opening your main activity.java, right? This is where the code comes in. Now, notice here, it says extending activity, right? If you remember that part at the beginning, if you selected check uh, compatibility or something, it would, pe it would put it here app compat and so forth, so on, but it's fine, doesn't matter. Now, one thing you'll notice inside the code that you never wrote, but it's there and it's going to always be there, it's going to see it's overriding this on create function. The on create function does two things. What? One is this super on create save instant state. We'll come back to this when we're kind of figuring out, hey, how is the life cycle of activities and so forth so on. The second part, so when this code runs, the second part says, hey, go create me this thing. Or not create me, go use this thing. For this code, for everything inside this object, I want you to connect it to my resource, this is what the R is for, dot layout dot activity main. So if you ever wanted to switch a resource, oh sorry, if you wanted to switch to a different layout, you could come here, go to layout dot, change it to something else. In this case, I only have one currently, so we're just gonna stick it back to that. So whenever this part of the code runs, it's gonna start that specific activity, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's the second part of our main thing. So most of their codes is going to go somewhere in here, okay? Now, the last part is this whole resource thing. 
okay this resource is your R okay and it's always going to be that. So whenever you mention R, whenever you get an error with R, it's something to do with something in your resources. Knowing and uh, looking in resources, we see a bunch of stuff. We'll eventually go through every one of them one by one. But notice every images would go in drawable. Layouts would go in the layouts folder. Minimaps, etc., values, etc., would go in their specific places. Makes your life easier. And this is also how it saves it on the Android device right and if we open our layout right activity main currently at the bottom of that you have the design which is the graphical GUI version where you could go grab a widget and just drag it and put it inside there so let's go grab a random thing um, let's do an image button I don't know I don't have an image currently so I can't do much so you could dr drag it and drop it and it's gonna tell you hey you wanna do this blah blah, blah. I'm just gonna press OK and you have it okay and if you go on the text again it's using XML you could see how it's built right and you could just see the image button we just added so just that simple image button that we dragged there's at least like 10 lines right here which will make sense of it in later parts all right so let's just run it one more time remember those three exact locations they're really important uh, we'll eventually cover all three parts but if you ever see some video elsewhere that says hey go inside the manifest do this do that you'll know where to go. there you go guys anyway um cheers see you guys in the next video